Hello everyone, this is Sri Harsha and welcome to the first part of the Jekyll tutorial series. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to install Jekyll on Windows. To install Jekyll, you will need three things. They are working internet connection, the Ruby installation and the Ruby development kit. So let's get started with the installation of Ruby. The installation of Ruby is pretty straightforward. Just go to the Ruby installer website, link given in the description of this video and download the installer. The latest version is 2.1.5 and download a version that suits the architecture of your operating system and your CPU. So mine is a x64 based operating system. So I will download this. And now once download completes, double click on the installer to open it. Select the language and click on OK. Now you need to accept the license in order to install Ruby. So click on I accept the license and click next. Now here when installing you have to make sure that the selected destination folder does not contain any spaces in its path. So for example this folder does not contain any spaces. So and also make sure to tick the add Ruby executables to your path option. So make sure you tick that and now click the install and it should install pretty fast. Now once the installation is complete, click on finish and you have done installing, installing the first part that is the installing Ruby. So now coming to the next part, you need to install the Ruby development kit. So this is because some Jekyll dependencies like the red carpet come in the form of source code and you need to compile them on your computer. Now go to the Ruby installer website again and scroll down and you will find the development kit downloads. So you have to use a development kit that matches your Ruby installation. So, so for example, my Ruby installation is 2.1 and is 64 bit. So I have to download this. So if you are using 32 bit version, you have to go this download. So once downloaded, open it and this install development kit installer is also just a self extracting 7 zip archive so make sure that you extract it to a, a folder that doesn't contain any spaces so i will be installing this to c ruby dev kit the only necessity is that the spaces should not be included in the installer path so just click on extract and it will be extracted for you once finished installing go to the development kit directory where you have installed so open a new windows explorer go to c ruby dev kit or otherwise the location where you have installed the development kit to. Now you have to start command prompt from this directory. So if you are using Windows Vista or above, you can simply type cmd in the address bar and command prompt will be started in the directory of in the directory for you automatically. So now run this command ruby space dk.rb space init this initializes the uh, ruby installer kit and now you have to install so type this command again ruby space dk.rb space install and the development kit has been successfully installed so close this In order to download and install Jekyll, you first need to install an SSL certificate so that you will not be greeted with the famous SSL connect error on Windows. So first go to the link in the description and download the CACERT.PEM file. Once downloaded, you need to place this CACERT.PEM file in the installation of Ruby. So place it in the bin directory. So, oh sorry, copy it to the bin directory. 
so once copied you will have this cacert.pm file now right click on it go to properties and copy this location now you need to set an environment where environmental variable that points to this certificate so right click on the computer start icon and select on system now click on advanced system settings now click on environment variables and here in the system variables create a new variable with the name ssl underscore c e r t underscore f i l e ssl underscore cert underscore file and the value is paste the installation bin file directory bin directory i add a slash and type c a c e r t dot p e m this should automatically install the ssl certificate of ruby so click on ok ok again and ok again so that should completely install the cacert.pm file or the ssl certificate now we are ready to install jekyll so we need to open the command prompt as an administrator so right click on the start menu and click on command prompt admin make sure you accept it click yes and here enter the following command gem install jekyll now this command does not return fast it should it appears to you that the command has been hanged or struck but it is not the case it is downloading the jekyll in the background and once downloaded it will be showing some progress onto the screen so this process usually takes 5 to 10 minutes so in the meanwhile go get a good coffee i will return the video after the installation completes so the installation has been completed and as you can see jekyll has been successfully installed with a hand load of its dependencies so now you have to install another gem called ruse ruse is a syntax highlighter for jekyll it is useful if you are going to show some source code in your blog posts so let's install ruse now so just type gem space install space r-o-u-g-e ruse and the installation should begin again it takes some time again something less like four to five minutes and after that the the jekyll and bruce installation will be completed so i will return after this ins installation has been completed okay that's it we have successfully installed jekyll and the roots so this is the end of this first tutorial in the next part i will be showing you the directory structure of jekyll blog and give you an introduction to the workflow and the liquid template system so thank you for watching please comment like and subscribe see you again in the next part bye bye